It's a busy, bright day here at AirVenture 2021 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and no place busier than the Icon booth. Here's Warren Curry to tell us what's kicking. Well, the reason we're going to primary category type certification is so we can open up ourselves for international expansion. The light sport aircraft uh, rules and regulations are a little bit uh, varying across the international landscape. And so by going into the type certification for primary category, we can now standardize our manufacturing for that category, as well as be able to deliver for, to people across the uh, international market. And it's also, and it's important for international owners, and I think they're gonna ask about that price point. Yeah, we have to recoup some of the investment that we've had over the last year, but in addition, we're gonna have to set up the entire infrastructure internationally. We, we've done a great job domestically in the U.S of taking care of our clients with our infrastructure. We're gonna do the same thing internationally, but that's gonna require a little bit of investment and uh, legwork on our part, uh, is that's where the extra cost comes from. You know, I would say it's stabilized really, uh, and again, the elephant in the room is COVID and supply chain issues, and, and we've struggled just like most OEMs have across multiple industries, uh, and we have too, but again, uh, like we talked about, uh, what's really interesting is this second half of the year, we're building 24 aircraft. We've overcome the variables of COVID and supply chain, learned a lot of lessons along the way. We're now very stabilized through the second half of 2021. We're planning on building up to 48 to 54 aircraft in 2022 and then go beyond. So I feel we're stabilized and the move to Mexico to do a lot of our carbon fiber is complete. So I think most variables are now accounted for. We're going to keep increasing production, but we want to do it in a very thoughtful, methodical way. And so I say 70 to 72, because that's probably our near-term objectives. I'm saying near-term like next two, three years, right? Once we stabilize that manufacturing capacity, we have the, the square footage for more. We have the technology for more. So I think at that point, then we just continue to increase. But I, I, we're very cautious not to jumpstart and get too, head of, too far ahead of ourselves. I think Europe's a great market. I think Canada's a great market. And then right on the heels of that, I think Australia and then countries like Brazil as well. So we actually have our light sport aircraft in several countries right now. But when inquiries come in, we really have to research the local regulations when it comes to the light sport category, what the, uh, that governing body allows. Uh, and again, that's very time consuming. Uh, so we do have some in other countries, but it's, it's really hard to accomplish. Uh, last year we introduced it and we're starting to produce uh, our Light Sport aircraft version with a G3X touchscreen, Garmin G3X touchscreen, also comes with that, the autopilot. Um, we introduced that late in 2020. 75% of our orders since then has been for that piece of equipment in the Light Sport aircraft. Now, initially, the type certified aircraft, the primary category, will be with just the Garmin 796. However, as soon as we get our type certification in fall of 2021, we're immediately gonna go back to the FAA and get the supplemental to add the G3X autopilot in the type certified as well. Like we all know with the FAA, it, it, it's, um, it's a process, right? And, and we have to make sure we're following the process uh, to the T. So our Icon A5 certified edition is, goes for 399,000 MSRP. Our light sport aircraft version with the G3X autopilot, MSRP is at 384,000. And then the light sport aircraft with the Garmin 796 goes for 359,000. Okay. Yeah, you find out more about us at iconaircraft.com.